this Paris 2024 Olympics is the very first Olympics that I've ever witnessed, okay? I've never seen any of the other ones. I've never been interested in sports like that, really, okay? Besides maybe some track and maybe, you know, some gymnastics. I've never actually played sports like that, like that in school either, you know? So there's a lot where I'm like, uh, whatever. But this year, I was like, you know what? That everyone's hyping it up. I'm like, you know what? I'm interested. I want to see it. I want to witness it. Y'all, the more and more I'm hearing about this Paris Olympics 2024, I'm like, this stuff does not seem good. <laughs> okay. And this is not on the athletes. Not completely. Oh, um, but it's on everything else. And I'm just like, wow, I cannot believe that actually passed through. All right. So, Alex, what are you talking about? So there is this scene river that they're supposed to be for the triathlon that people are supposed to be going in. You know, they're supposed to be swimming in the water for a little bit. Then they're supposed to hop on their bikes and then they're supposed to run. And then I think they bike again and then they're done or something like that. All right. So um, it's those three. But that's essentially what happens. All right. And then they're done. You know, however long it may take you, hour and a half, hour and, you know, almost two hours, whatever to complete it. That's for your triathlon. Why are they having them swimming in this dirty, nasty, filthy water that they said has been dirty for over a hundred years and they knew this water was dirty for a hundred years? And y'all got the Olympics here and you know that people got swimming this water and y'all didn't clean this water out at all. This is not a pool, okay? <laughs> this is like a river. So I'm just like, how? I guess I'm confused because the day before. They were saying this. They were saying, yo, this water dirty, y'all. I don't know how these triathlon Olympic uh, athletes are going to be able to do this. But this water is filthy. This water is so dirty. Uh, we even had to postpone the men's division, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, Oof, I guess people ain't going to be doing that anymore. I wake up. I'm looking at my phone. And I'm seeing these women jump in this water. And I said, is this the same water that they said was dirty yesterday? I'm like... I'm like, nah, it can't be. And I'm looking, I'm like, this is the same water y'all said was dirty yesterday. So did y'all clean this up in 24 hours? I guess I'm confused. Because if y'all clean this water up in 24 hours, how did y'all do that? If y'all said that this water had been dirty for 100 years, I guess I'm confused. Okay, so they apparently cleaned it. Okay, <laughs> they cleaned it enough to make it okay for a human to swim in it i said that's nasty y'all i'm like they really did that oh i'm like that's nasty all right so you got this dirty water this dirty water that you had the women swimming in then you had the men i was like oh oh it didn't look clean like you could just look at the water and be like that water don't look clean okay but they got this nasty dirty water and these people they 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 swim or they they swimming in it i'm like mm -mm. y'all need to be washing and one day y'all need to take about 10 showers and you need to be in the shower for about an hour and a half because that's gross all right so you got that kind of stuff going on then you got the village okay and that's where you have the athletes that would you know that's where you house athletes now, not all of them would stay. You have many that chose to go to a hotel like the NBA players because they have cardboard bags because they're like, oh, we're trying to be in, in environmentally conscious and yada, yada, yada. We're even having healthy food. They got raw food, raw, undercooked food, undercooked, it, lacking protein all over the place. And all these athletes are like, y'all, we're... I'm hungry. So you had a whole bunch of people who dipped. They were like, okay, I can only be in the village for a day or two. And I'm out. I'm going to a hotel or something. You had the NBA players, uh, US NBA players, obviously. Um, they were like, I'm not this. Oh no, we're going to a hotel. Okay. Because one, you can afford to go to a hotel. And two, not only can you afford to go to the hotel, but it, I mean, it's cardboard beds and these dudes are what? Six, eight, seven foot. They ain't going to be able to fit in your five foot eight bed. Okay. So it's just not realistic to do that, all right? But these cardboard beds, y'all, they were like like a twin bed. You know what I mean? You know how a twin bed is really only for one person. That's how these beds were. And people, these athletes were laying in these beds. And I was like, hmm, 
That wouldn't be me. Okay. Like, I mean, you can't do anything up in there. Then you got the ceremony opening. And I'm like, here with the alphabet stuff. I'm like, what is this? Why did y'all? I mean, it was just so weird. And I'm like, why did y'all think this was a good idea? Who signed off on this is my question. All right. It said no religion, but then people who wanted to have religious stuff in there, you said no, but then you're able to do it. So, and then you got the one that is the most controversial of them all, I guess you can argue, or one of the many, um, where you had a bio you had a biological woman going up against a biological female who has xy chromosomes now it's a rare genetic disorder from what i was reading that will allow for a woman to have xy chromosomes the x is you know women are xx xy are only men okay i've yet to see a man that had xx so XY only men, that's for the sex, uh, the sex hormones. And that's for, you know, your reproductive, you know, your organs and everything. All right. And you had this person that was fighting a biological woman. Now, some people say, but this person's not a trans person. Okay. But you're, you have an uneven advantage, not just an advantage because you're, you're skillful. It's because your genetic makeup your biology is leaning more towards man. I'm not sure what they got going on down there. But when you have it where the year prior you were banned from performing on a, for a world title, which when you're banned from performing because you do not meet the chromosome testosterone um, standard, how is it that you're now allowed to be in the Olympics and you still don't meet the testosterone standard, yet you're beating up on a woman. Now, I don't get that. Now, for the people that say, but they're biologically a woman, a rare genetic makeup, I agree with that, okay? I get that, it's a fact, that's what they were saying. But with that being said, you lean more towards male than female and having XY I also, they, that's why I say it's very, 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 very rare for a woman to have XY, okay? So you have XY, which should be with men over there. So you really should be competing against men, all right? Now people are saying, well, how come y'all didn't bring this up before? Because no one cared before. Probably no one even knew. Many people didn't even know. Of people who cared to watch it, and let's keep it real. I watch UFC. You were not in the UFC. You're boxing. And I hardly even watch boxing, given that. And of the boxing that I've seen, I've never seen this person up in there. You know, so that's what it is. And you have a lot of people who will fall into that same kind of boat. All right. So that's one of the things. And it's like, you're having that kind of stuff going on too. And apparently it was two athletes that had it where they were going to the women's division. All right. And one was an Asian person and they did not contest it and with her so you still were not allowed to do it and with her they said that she con she contested it but then reneged which means you still were not allowed to be on here so I guess I'm confused all right but this Olympics just seems wild. There's a lot of positives, like you had Snoop, but then even that, people saying, well, why was an Olympic, a former Olympic uh, champion not doing the torch holding? Why was he holding it? That, I don't know, okay? I don't know. But Snoop, he's been there, you know, he's supporting everybody, doing all that Flav Flav. He's over here sponsoring, I think it was the women's polo team, uh, water polo team. Um, so you're getting a lot of positives, but there's a lot of negatives in here. And to me, it makes me wonder, did y'all even plan this out? I mean, y'all spend all this money. Y'all don't have any food. And the reason for that, they were saying that people had contracts like these mom and pop shops or these other places. And it seemed like people were just stealing the money and not delivering all the food. Why would you not deliver the food? I don't know. But people are not delivering. So that's another thing. Where's the money going? Anytime you see all these people get all this money, where's the money going? You know, so with this, 
uh, dirty water that you have people swim up in. Uh, that was just gross to me. No food for a lot of people. And if you did get it, it was raw, undercooked, not good at all. Lacking protein. You got men beating up women up in here. You got the alphabet agenda going on. Uh, you say no religion, but then you've got a religious thing going on. You're saying, oh, but it's artistic. And this person's like, okay, but this is literally artistic too. And it's uh, displayed within my country. But then you say, okay, we can't do that. You know, so I'll... Hear me out. Hear me out. I don't think Paris needs to host it anymore. But that's just me. Okay, you didn't hear it from me, but that's just me. All right. Now let me know what y'all think about this story down below. Hello, hello, hello. I would greatly appreciate it if you can actually support my little small business called Latrice Limited. It is on latricelimited.com. So as you can see right here, I actually sell candles and a wide variety of other items as well. This is my big forehead, okay? Um, but I actually want to show you just a couple of different items that I do sell. Um, this is actually going to be a part of my soap collection that I have. As you can see, I have a variety of different soaps on here. I actually have two pages worth of soaps and um, everything is handmade okay natural clean ingredients as well um, you can also see right here these are my candles all right they're all handmade everything vanilla sweet roses uh, sage and vanilla vanilla and sweet roses are actually my favorite scents that i do have i also have a few other items on here I'm actually going to go and show you all the bath bombs that I do have. As you all can see, there's eucalyptus and sage, uh, sweet pea harmony, and so many more. And then we're just going to finish off on the gift sets that I have. There's a variety of them from like the big ones like this for 45 And then you have some of the smaller ones. And you have these itty bitty ones down here that includes essential oil blends. Definitely shop with your girl definitely help your girl out i would greatly appreciate it this is like my little baby over here okay <laughs> um i would greatly appreciate it and enjoy it.